Yo guys and welcome back to the channel, sit back, relax and enjoy as we play some more Persona 5 Royal. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, without a doubt, I'll see you on the next one. End party, huh? I'm already excited. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? Thank you. Your compliment is music to my ears. I don't think anyone other than you could pull it off, Kitagawa-senpai. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time! Mmm! So good! Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. I don't know if that fully explains what's happening here. Senpai, don't kid them so much. My appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. For real? And that's wonderful. Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual, real-life good ending! And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model turned actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady Anne would... 
The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, a hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, Senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> and do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <sighs> so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Osechi time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Tell this to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious, and being separated from all of you was really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Yeah, thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. Get awesome, awesome results, results track meets alongside, alongside everyone, everyone else on the team, team. and eventually I get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom. If that never happened, I would have gotten to enjoy my time in high school with Shiho.
my sister's been supporting the family. It's unrealistic to demand any more of her. I'm helping Okumura foods grow, with my father watching over me. Good morning. Sorry to make work your first activity of the new year. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Who am I? Are you still half asleep or something? What bam? Oh, oh looking sharp. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my mom. Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Well, 
Perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. usual crowd yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago mm -hmm. believe it or don't only 364 <laughs> days until the next one that is true but I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while well I have an idea New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears uh -huh. huh didn't expect you to here <laughs> Coincidences can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa-senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm -hmm. See you later. Looks like it's just us now. Oh, I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine Senpai? <laughs> well, we did just run into everyone else. Maybe that was your wish. Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. It's from my dad. Uh... He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. You should hold on to your sleeve. 
That is your dress kimono, after all. <clears throat> now, who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D dad Not all the time! <laughs> is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Well then. Senpai, please excuse us. What's up? Who am I? Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. perfectly shaped and so shiny. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans. They'll change your life. Good morning. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Morning, Mona. Morning. Do you What's that a question? Of course I'm me. Seriously, are you alright? Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. 
Thank you for the food. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. What's the matter? <sighs> Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? We have to discuss this. That's what I need to discuss with you. Come on. Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... That is indeed quite strange. But what's even more abnormal is... Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. What say we join forces on this? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Have you made up your mind? Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... Um, I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint. 
I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but... Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? We're going in. All right. Let's do it. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it.
crew outfit. Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Let's do it.